Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Preston Mason. Yes. Thank you so very much. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, I want to know, what do you know that my audience needs to know? So we've been uh, doing a lot of investigations into the purity and quality of omega-3 fatty acid fish oil supplements. And uh, we have found uh, some concerning uh, findings that would be of interest, I think, to your viewers. Specifically, we find that the level of omega-3 fatty acid, which is the important component, can vary widely from product to product. And that we find that there are many other components, such as saturated fat, that can make up to a third of these products that may, many of your uh, consumers wouldn't know. So we have found uh, that there's important information that people need to know about dietary supplements and that they're very different than an FDA-approved omega-3 fatty acid or an FDA-approved prescription product, which undergoes very strict oversight when it comes to manufacturing, purity, and effectiveness as evidenced by the scientific information associated with it. As you talk about these impurities, um, uh what do we? What do you mean by impurities? Fillers. So, yeah, there's that issue, but in particular with omega-3 fatty acids, they're very vulnerable or susceptible to spoilage or damage by oxygen by the air, and so we find that there's generally high levels of oxidation or breakdown products in these dietary supplements of fish oil that we don't see, of course, in a prescription form of omega-3 fatty acid. So. Uh, People need to be realized that they're very difficult to get a high quality product because of these challenges in manufacturing. Okay, when we, our doctors are telling us that we need the fish oil as a supplement, we're buying it from vitamin centers or your local super real, real uh, what is that, big box real retailer. Is that not the place to buy them, obviously? Yeah, so I think the most important point is a patient needs to talk to their physician, uh, talk about their lipids, have it carefully monitored, see what options there are when it comes to diet and lifestyle changes. And if they need a prescription medication, they need to get that from their physician because they want to be absolutely certain that what they're taking is going to be effective in lowering, for example, very high triglycerides and reducing their risk of heart disease. It's very difficult to, and we found practically impossible to try to do that with dietary supplements. So a patient needs to work with their physician closely monitor their lipids, and work on strategies for getting effective control for reducing heart disease. Okay. What about uh, um, uh, 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 organic stores? Are they not giving us a better quality of, of this product? Because you're talking about when we say, you know, now I need a prescription for it. Now we're talking about does the plan cover it? Can we afford it? It, it, it becomes very, very challenging for us as the uh, client of the doctor. Yes, you raise a good point. And we have found that when you try to, for example, treat with dietary supplements, you actually have to take many, many, I mean, dozens. So it, it becomes cost prohibitive to try to use dietary supplements to treat this very serious condition that is otherwise treated with a prescription omega-3 fatty acid. So it just because it's cheap doesn't necessarily mean it's going to have any value. And if it doesn't have any value, then you really are putting yourself at risk for much more costly consequences in terms of health care. So uh, it is a challenge. And what I would advise, again, is for patients to talk to the physician to make sure they're getting what they need. And in that way, they're going to, in the long run, reduce costs and get better health. I think you're so in line with what I'm hearing doctors say and prescribe, and uh, it's another thing for us to challenge yes. ourselves with. Yes. Let me ask you, doctor, where do I go on, online and find out more information? Because there was only a little blurb on the news about dietary supplements and the FDA looking into it. Yes, um, the FDA has on its website a lot of information about uh, the process of reviewing a prescription medication versus a dietary supplement. So the FDA is a good website to turn to. Um, but again, I really think it's a great point to be speaking to patients and consumers about that these dietary supplements aren't undergoing the same rigorous oversight and review that we have with FDA-approved prescription products. You've said a mouthful. I'm going to act, and I hope my audience responds very well also to Doctor, thank you so very much for bringing this to our consciousness. Thank you very much.